How you doing folks? This is Mike from Affordable Trapping. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy barbecue sauce that I like to call Swamp Mud. Again, I'm Mike from Naples, Florida, so let's get started. First you're going to need 16 ounces of ketchup. Go ahead and do that. Of course we don't need any leaves in it either. Go ahead. There we go. I'll go ahead and put that in there. <clears throat> go ahead and rinse it out real quick. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some pineapple juice. About a quarter cup will do. There we go. We'll put that in there. Next, we're going to need some brown sugar. About a quarter cup of it. There we go. Put that in there like that. Go ahead and clean it out. Okay. Now we're going to need some molasses. We're going to need two tablespoons of molasses. that in there. Just like that. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to need is some apple cider vinegar. About a quarter cup of that. Get that cleaned out there for you. We're going to need a quarter cup of Apple cider vinegar. Just wait a bit here for me. And see, so that's just a little too much there. There we go. So, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Next we're going to need some salt. About a tablespoon of salt. Okay, the next thing we're going to need is natural hickory smoke flavor. That's about what that looks like right there. Just, you don't need too much. About a tablespoon. Okay. And the next thing you're going to need is some mustard. You can use any kind of mustard you want. I like the uh, horseradish mustard myself. And we're going to put in two tablespoons of that. Right. Next thing we're going to need is some paprika. So everything's turned around here. And there it is. And we're going to need about two tablespoons of paprika. Get it going on here. There we go with that. Next thing we're going to need is onion powder. Again, it's pretty much going to be two tablespoons of uh, onion powder. 
go ahead and do this. One, two, right there. Next thing we're going to need is some garlic powder. It should be right here. Again, two tablespoons. One, two. We're going to need some Worcestershire sauce. Of course, it's, can't pronounce it half the time. And we're going to need, again, two tablespoons of that. tablespoons of that. Now to spice it up a little bit, we're going to use a little cayenne pepper, just about a half a tablespoon. There. And a little chili pepper. I think that's it right there. Again, about a half a tablespoon. Just like that. Now we're going to stir it all up. So sure. Just like so. I don't know if you can see it, but boy, that's just looking good. Go ahead and stir that up real fine. And once you get it just like that right there, you're going to want to put it in a saucepan and you're going to want to heat it up. You're going to want to bring it to a boil, then you're going to want to simmer it for about 15 minutes or until it thickens up, as thick as you want it. And uh, put it in the refrigerator overnight, get it cool. And man, she'll be ready. Thanks for watching. Again, just put everything in a saucepan, bring it to a boil, and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Let it cool, put it in the container, and refrigerate overnight. And again, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching my video on homemade barbecue sauce. And happy Memorial Day. Later.